Hey everybody. Today we're talking about linear approximation and linearization. The idea here is that the tangent line to a graph of a function at a point is the line of best fit to that graph at that point. Here's an illustration. I've drawn a function y equals f of x and a tangent line at x equals 1. Nearby x equals 1, that line and the function have values that are very close. Of course, as you get further away from x equals 1, that becomes less and less true. The good news here is that the formula for a tangent line to a graph of a function y equals f of x at a point x equals c is um, fairly easy to construct. If x is c, then the graph of the tangent line has to pass through the point c comma f of c, and it has to have slope f prime of c. So we get this formula. L of x equals f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c. This is just the equation of the tangent line to y equals f of x at x equals c. It's constructed using point slope form um, very directly. So the big idea is that near x equals c, instead of computing values for f of x, we can compute values for L of x. In other words, instead of plugging into f, <laughs> plug into L. And near x equals c, these values that you get out should be fairly similar. Here's an example. Find the linear approximation to f of x equals 1 over the square root of 2x plus 1 at x equals 4, and then use it to approximate f of 3.9. So this is potentially labor saving. Plugging 3.9 into that square root could uh, take some serious calculation. Um, Plugging into a linearization, the equation of a straight line, will be relatively simple. So linear approximation just means the equation of the tangent line. In order to do that, we're going to need to find the value of the function at that point, x equals 4, and the value of the derivative. So let's start just by finding f of 4. It's 1 over the square root of 2 times 4 plus 1, or 1 over the square root of 9, or 1 third. Now we need to find f prime of 4. So first let's find f prime. We're viewing the 1 over square root of 2x plus 1 as 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half. Then I differentiate that using the chain rule. Negative 1 half times 2x minus 1 to the negative 3 halves times the derivative of the inside, so times 2. And that all simplifies to negative 1 over 2x minus 1 to the 3 halves. Plugging in x equals 4 and simplifying, we get negative 1 over 27. Now I use the um, point slope form to get the linearization. L of x equals 1 third minus 1 27th times x minus 4. If I want to um, use that linearization to approximate f of 3.9, that just means plugging 3.9 into L of x. So I'm doing 1 third minus 1 27th times 3.9 minus 0.1. So that's negative 0.1 inside the parentheses. Simplifying that a little bit, 91 over 270, or about 0.337. Let's do one more example. Approximate the cube root of 64.2. So this problem doesn't explicitly give us a function to linearize and it doesn't give us explicitly a point at which we should linearize it. So we have to choose those things in a convenient way. We're going to use f of x is the cube root of x, and we're going to linearize at x equals 64. Why? Um, because we can relatively easily compute f of 64, the cube root of 64 is just 4, and the derivative of the cube root of x will be fairly easy to compute, and in particular, it'll be easy to compute at 64. Let's see this in practice. First of all, f of 64, as I said, the cube root of 64, or just 4. And f prime of x, viewing the cube root of x as x to the 1 third, is 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds, or 1 over x to the 2 thirds. Plugging in 64, I'm taking the cube root of 64, which is 4, squaring it to get 16, and then, of course, putting that in a denominator, so 1 16th. So the linearization is f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c, or 4 plus 1 16th x minus 64. 
plugging in 64.2, I'm going to get 4 plus 1 16th times 0.2. That's 1 fifth, which is 321 over 80, or 4.0125.